What is going on guys Anatoly from Define Agile here in this Jira tutorial I will show you how to bulk change your issues. Very useful when you want to delete a bunch of issues or assign them to yourself or move them to done or do whatever you want. You inherited the old project and there are lots of issues that you want to get rid of. So all this will be very helpful for you to know how to bulk change your issues. Let's get right into it. So here I have my scrum projects and in my scrum project I have a backlog with a bunch of issues and there are a couple of them that I really want to delete. How would I do that? First of all you need to learn how to bulk select stuff. There are two ways how you can do it. First of all if you want to bulk select the section of issues so let's say I want to select the first uh, one, two, three, four issues. All I need to do is hold the shift key and uh, select the first one and then select the last one I want to have in the group. And this is how it's selected uh, four issues. But let's say they are not sequential and you want to select them randomly from a backlog. So I just want to select delete me and delete me too. So what I do is, uh, I'll show you how to do it on Mac, but I'm sure there's some, some key on Windows that you can use as well. In Mac we use command key, so you select the first one and then with the command key you select the second one or any other amount of issues you want to select. When uh, you have all the issues selected that you need, you can click on uh, right click on uh, the backlog and then you'll have a bulk change option. In a bulk change option when you click on it, it gives you a bunch of uh, cool things you can do with those issues. First of all, it shows you how many issues you selected, which is pretty good. And then it shows you what you can do with them. You can edit them, you can move them, so you can move them to a new project. Uh, you can transition them to, uh, let's say, from to do to done or in progress. You can delete them, you can watch them, so you'll get notifications when something happened to them, or you can stop watching those issues which is very useful. Uh, right now let's try editing those issues. So when we click edit, we can click next. It will give you a bunch of uh, cool things. So you can change issue types. So we can make them a task. Sure, let's do that. And uh, we can change reporter. That's, we don't need that. But let's say I want to assign them to myself. So, assign them to myself. And I click next. And here it shows you what issues I want to edit. So I click confirm. And then it says editing to issues, 100%. I just click acknowledge. And we're good. So you see it's assigned to me. And they both have my face next to them. So yeah, I assign it to myself and I change them from bug to be a task. Now, the last thing we want to do is delete them. Let's just delete those two. So again, command, click on a second one, right click, bulk change, delete issues, next. We'll ask you, do you want to get email for this update? I say, no, I don't want to get email for this update. I'm fine. And then it asks you to confirm that you want to delete those two issues and says the email will not be sent. I click confirm. And here's a progress bar when it will be 100, those issues will be deleted. So you can refresh it, but it refreshes itself. Okay, cool. I click acknowledge again. And there are some permission issue, but it's not related because those two are deleted. Okay. So guys, this is an easy way for you to bulk change your issues, move them to another project. Hope uh, it was useful for you. If your company needs help with Jira, uh, yeah, Define Agile has an option to remote support you for any of your Jira needs. If you want us to move your issues to a different project, set up your new Jira instance, or do anything you need, we're here to help you. Go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation with me, and let's see how we can help your business. Please, uh, if you have any more questions, put them in the comments down below. Subscribe to this channel because a lot of cool stuff is coming, and I hope uh, you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.